Los Angeles County Sheriff Alex Villanueva continues to rail against the county's vaccine mandate, warning it is causing a mass exodus in his department and threatens public safety at a time when violent crime is on the rise. I have repeatedly stated the dangers to public safety when 20% to 30% of them. We are experiencing an increase in unscheduled retirements, worker compensation claims, employees quitting, and a reduction in qualified applicants. As a result, he said, homicide rates in the county would continue to rise, while response times increase and patrol services decline. With the pandemic waning, there is no justification for the board mandate, Villanueva said. It is like putting up the storm windows after the storm has passed. Under an executive order ratified by the Board of Supervisors in August, all Los Angeles County employees were required to register their vaccination status by October 1 on an online portal, though religious and medical exceptions are allowed. As of Friday, more than 90 percent of the county's employees, including 79 percent of sheriff's department workers, had registered their status, Michael Wilson, a county spokesman said in an emailed statement to the Times. He did not say whether the county is tracking how many employees have resigned or retired early specifically over the vaccine mandate. The county expects all department heads to encourage their employees to register as an important public health measure to protect workers and the public we serve. The vaccination policy is intended to save lives, not to punish employees based on their vaccination status. More than half of the sheriff's department's 16084 employees are fully vaccinated, according to preliminary data collected by the county. Nearly 300 are semi-vaccinated. Another two, 327 employees are not vaccinated, while one, 843 are seeking exemptions. Of the sheriff's nine, 656 sworn personnel, three, 942 are fully vaccinated according to county records. There are 188 workers who are semi-vaccinated, while 1, 698 are not vaccinated and nearly 1, 369 are seeking exemptions. Of the department's 6, 428 civilian employees, 4, 238 are fully vaccinated, according to county data. About 100 are semi-vaccinated and 629 are not vaccinated. Another 474 workers are seeking exemptions. Notices are being sent out in batches to county employees who have not complied with the vaccination policy, Wilson said. The notice lets them know they must comply with the mandate within 45 days of receiving note. After that time, employees who still have not shown their proof of vaccination or sought an exemption will get a five-day suspension, Wilson said. Employees then have 30 days once they return from their suspension to comply.